Tom here from Lauren Systems and TrueNAS Core 12.0 Update 3 was released on April 13th of 2021. Today is April 16th of 2021. And yes, as soon as it came out, I loaded our systems here at the office and mine at the house with the latest update. You know, I don't mind being a little bit of a glutton for punishment or filing bug reports because I don't just complain about things that are broke because that doesn't seem to get them fixed. Good news is I didn't find any major issues at all or even any minor ones yet or thus far with only three days of running it. Now, this is one of our systems here at the office. It's an older i5 system custom built. That's why it says platform generic here and no problems with the update. It runs NFS, Samba and some jails. They all work fine, specifically sync thing to sync some of the data around our office here. Then I have this system here, which is where this video and other videos for the last few days have been being edited and all the data is stored on for the videos for the, my YouTube channel and no problems at all, including the cloud backups that are tied to Backblaze. Everything has gone through several cycles. The systems are replicating to each other. Some data replicates from here to there, the other system and vice versa. So both of these have been talking perfectly fine and didn't run into any issues. And the one I did at my house, same thing. Now, those use cases include iSCSI and NFS and some Samba shares, but do not include any tie into Active Directory. I bring it up because I did see a couple comments in the forums about people who, when they did the update, had some breakage with Active Directory and their resolution was to rejoin AD servers. Now, of note, in case you run into some of those type of issues, one, always check the forums and you know, for those of you that may are that may have already gone ahead and done these updates and see what problems may have occurred. But also when you're doing minor releases, it's actually pretty arbitrary just to roll back. So I went from U 2.1 to U3, which means I can actually just click these and roll back right away by hitting activate and jump backwards a version relatively easy. The only time this doesn't work is if you update, let's say from version 11 to version 12, and then you do a ZFS upgrade because there was a change in the ZFS version. Well, then you can't roll back, but there's no change in the ZFS version going from the U2 or U2.1 and U2 U3. So just of note, that's on there in case you're doing any of the updates. Back to what got changed and what got updated. This being a mission critical, suitable for critical release level of update. What I mean by that is once we get past U2, that means there's been a minimum of six QA cycles gone through. As in, for those of you that were waiting and holding back to update, this is more where people are going to start moving their systems and their mission critical systems. Because when I say bug fixes, I mean a lot of bug fixes. And I didn't have time in this video to go over every one of them. And it is amazing how much bugs people can find in these, but there's definitely some that were more notable than others. A couple of my highlighted right here where VSS shadow copy doesn't work after an update. This apparently broke under uh, certain circumstances in U2 for people. It is now fixed. And I've done some videos on this topic where basically the snapshots are presented via Samba as a volume shadow copy and specifically as an immutable one, which I think is really great. But of course, that feature not working is not so great. So it's been fixed in U3. So if you had a problem with it before, that has now been resolved. Plex jail responding to DHCP. That's a weird one. I did not see this problem at all out in the field, but I did find it kind of interesting because I can't imagine the circumstances by which a Plex server is what's responding on your network to DHCP because um, it's not supposed to, and which is clearly why it had to be fixed. So I thought that wasn't just, you know, kind of caught my eye. And I think when I did my video on lag, I'd seen someone mention this. I did not experience this specifically because the network interfaces I'm using are not the E100s, but this is a potential scenario where you'll have a kernel panic if there are lags set up with these particular network interfaces. And there's actually a lot more little bug fixes like this. One of them turned out to be a duplicate that I submitted was in the way it was handling a nested data set encryption. The UI didn't accept the JSON file. So I'd actually uh, submitted that and that's actually been fixed in here, although it was part of a duplicate bug related to a UI implementation. The workaround for that, it wasn't major. It was pasting in the key as opposed to using the JSON file. It would let you just drop the keys in and it would still unlock, but just wouldn't unlock with a JSON file. But there's a lot of little nuance and things like that that have to be fixed. And they really did a lot of it in here, including a few new features, as you can see right here, a few improvements to the way things are. Uh, handled inside. And one more thing of note is like known issues. There's not much under known issues, but this one comes up a lot other than people asking me. And it's not as much to me a known issue as a don't do that issue. It is a lot of, there seems to be a lot of people that are upset that you can't just use root for your Samba shares anymore. 
that's been a change that happened a little while ago, not just for this version, but uh, when they switched to 12 and people seem to be upset by that. They don't like creating another user and setting up the permissions on there. But I know Root's convenient, but it's not necessarily the right way to do that. That's one of the reasons that was disabled. And Persistent L2 Arc is disabled by default, but they have a methodology which you can turn it on. So they say the underlying issues have been fixed, uh, but the setting continues to be disabled by default for performance. So if you are wondering what happened and you want that uh, turn back on for persistence with the L2 arc, that option is in there. And that CLI doesn't generate CARP password on HA systems. There's a lot of little HA nuances, and this is important because this is specifically for some of the TrueNAS hardware that has HA, and now they're probably gonna recommend a lot more people go ahead and switch if you're using one of those HA chassis uh, to this version. They did a lot of work. There's a lot of little notes in there about different scenarios that had to be fixed. Now, someone may have already left this in the comments, but this question does come up all the time. Is Tom, why aren't you talking about TrueNAS scale? This is anytime I mention TrueNAS. And the reason why is because it's alpha still. So there are some release dates, scheduled release dates here in 2021. We have an updated alpha release on 420. And then we have a beta scheduled for 615 of 2021. So yes, it's coming. It's not here yet. It is on its way. I'm as excited as many other people are, which if you're not familiar at all with TrueNAS scale, I have a video on it, but essentially it's the re-implementation of TrueNAS on a Debian-based Linux system. So we're excited when that gets here. Uh, patiently waiting like everyone else, it'll get here when the bugs are squashed. And of course, when you switch to it, it's going to initial release have, uh, well, people like me testing it for sure, but I don't know that I would throw it on a production system. Because it's right now in alpha, last time I tried it, there was a lot of functionality broke. I might try it when it gets to this next level of alpha, but more than likely, I won't really switch any system and I'll probably just switch my video editing system to it once it at least hits beta. So it it is in their release cycle. I don't talk about it a lot because there's not as much to talk about, but if you'd like to test it and contribute to the repairing and finding and squashing of bugs in it, Go ahead, it's absolutely available for download, but um, it's not quite ready to be used yet is the way I would say after my own testing with it. It's 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 still rough around the edges. It's been a few months since I tested it, but it was uh, definitely a little rough around the edges. I will leave a link to all this on here so you can read the release notes yourself and see if there's some bug issues that you have in there. Please note the Active Directory just in case you have any Active Directory problems. You may have to rejoin it. It's the only thing I've really seen in the forums on that. Uh, but always, you know, keep an eye on the backups. Make sure you have everything backed up. Make sure you have your ZFS keys and encryption backup if you're using encryption. Uh, and remember, RAID is not a backup. RAID is resiliency. So back that NAS up before you uh, start all this whole fun project of upgrading. But nonetheless, the upgraded systems, this went well for me. I'm hoping it goes well for you. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a share project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store, where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.